Are you getting low FPS on your game while you're streaming and playing? Well, I have a solution for you. So have you ever opened up a game of Warzone and then you opened up OBS and you saw your FPS drop drastically? Well, this was my case. I've tried many different solutions like using Process Lasso to setting affinities on my PC. None of these seem to do the work. I will see an improvement in FPS in game, but whenever I opened up OBS and started streaming, my game would lag or my frames would drop drastically. Not until I came across this video on YouTube that explained why you should undervolt your GPU and a step-by-step -step guide. And I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to undervolt your graphics card. So here I'm just going to open up MSI Afterburner. Uh, right now we're going to go ahead and clear any settings that you have or open up a preset right here where you have no preset. So essentially you're going to have core voltage at zero, core clock at zero, and memory clock at zero, power limit 100, temp 83, and then your fan speed, you could use a default fan curve or you could try mine out. So the first step here is we're going to try to figure out your GPU um, clock speed when it is under stress. For me, the best option for this was using 3D Mark. So I'm going to go ahead and open 3D Mark. I'm going to go ahead and quit anything else I have open. Go ahead and keep your MSI Afterburner screen right here close by so you can monitor it and just keep an eye on that clock speed that megahertz number we're going to want to make sure we take note of that so if you don't have 3d mark another thing you can do is you could try um, playing your game and keep an eye at what kind of clock speeds you're getting with the game again this is on stock settings uh, you're going to see what number you get. Um, I'm going to leave a download link for MSI Afterburner. It is a free application that you could utilize to overclock, undervolt, etc. your graphics card. So once I have 3D Mark open or your stress test for that sake, go ahead and click on stress test. Make sure you're stress testing your graphics card. And we're going to go ahead and hit enter stress test. It is going to take a minute. But again, this is where we're going to see what kind of consistent performance you get with uh, your current graphics card. And these numbers are going to be crucial to what we input into MSI Afterburner. So stick around and we'll get right into it. At this moment, my MSI Afterburner is hidden because we're in full screen on 3D Mark. For me, I have a dual monitor set up. For me, I have my MSI Afterburner over here on my second monitor, keeping an eye on the clock speeds. We're gonna go ahead and let this run for about two or three loops. So just stick around and I'll give you the results in just a second. Okay, so we're back here. Um, I just realized my clock speeds might be a little higher than what I inputted in here but okay so just for the sake of the argument this clock speed the number is going to be different for everyone for me it was a consistent 1840 was kind of like a good number for me once you get that 1840 number set the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into core clock and we're actually going to hit negative 250 we're going to actually under clock your graphics card a little bit hit the check mark and then we're going to open up the curves to do that you're going to hit Control f and I'll open up this window. So at a thousand millivolts, we're hitting about 1840. So this is a good start point. Pretty much you're gonna go ahead and set this to 1840 and then go back to this screen and then hit the check mark and everything after that will stay at 1840. So after you do this, you're gonna to wanna to open up 3D Mark once again and stress test this and make sure that this is stable. So pretty much once you get that and you figure out that it's stable, you're gonna actually have to repeat this process. So what you do is you're gonna to have to clear this again, reset it to default, enter negative 250 core clock, hit enter, hit the check mark, and then open up the curve, control F, and then now we're going to start undervolting it. So at 1000, we're good at 1840. We're going to go down to 975. I would recommend going down in these 25 increments and then you could kind of fine tune it by going up or down by each tick here. But go ahead and go to 975 
bring this up to 1840. Go ahead and hit the check mark here. And essentially this is how you're gonna undervolt it. You're bringing this down, the whole graph down, and then you're trying to hit that core voltage, or sorry, the core clock speed with um, a, a less power, so less uh, millivolts right here. So essentially you're gonna repeat that process at 975. You're gonna stress test it, make sure that it does three runs or three loops or three passes, whatever you're using. If it passes again, great we're gonna actually repeat the process again you're gonna go ahead and clear everything negative 250 hit the check mark control f and then go down to 950 right and you're gonna keep going down 25 millivolts and then bring this up to 1840 and then hit the check mark and then run your test again it is a little tedious and time consuming but this is going to be so worth it. Once you find something that crashes, you're going to want to bump it back up. So if you crash that 950, move it back up to 975, or you can mess around with the in-betweens. But essentially, once you find that, you're going to go ahead and save this profile. And this is another key interesting note. And I saw this from multiple YouTubers. I can't name them because I don't remember their names right off the bat. But memory core, the memory clock, overclocking that, there was actually some instances where, at least with my graphics card, the 3080 Ti, where it actually didn't really do anything. Like the frequencies might have shown higher, but in game and in actual practical usage, it wasn't helping. I think they did a test where they were checking FPS and as the memory clock got higher and the memory clock speed was getting higher, the frame was dropping. So I personally have been using just zero on my memory clock. I haven't overclocked it and I've had no issue once uh, whatsoever. So I would suggest trying that too. If you have a memory overclock on your graphics card, try setting it to zero, try doing the undervolt and let me know in the comments if this helped out or not.